How many times have you felt like your conversations fall in kind of a void? Well, fear no more because in this video, I'm going to show you how your conversations can kick off with an amazing start and end with perfect clarity so that the people on the other end feel heard, valued, and understood. Hi, I'm Heather Younger, author of The Art of Caring Leadership and The Art of Active Listening. If you're interested in buying any of these books, you can access the links below in the description box. Opening a discussion needs to be like creating a foundation for a strong home. It needs to be sturdy and inviting. Here's the first step. Engage with an open-ended question. Instead of asking questions that can be answered with a simple yes or no, pose questions that encourage your conversation partner to share their thoughts and feelings. As they respond, you validate what they're saying by nodding and smiling and shaking your head and asking questions that invite deeper conversation. You can say things like, tell me more, that's fascinating. Wow, I didn't know that happened. And when you do that, it shows the person on the other end that you're really following along and helps them also feel comfortable sharing even more. Transition smoothly and with empathy. When you sense a natural pause in the discussion, it is okay for you then to move on to some point you want to make by also wrapping up what they just said by acknowledging their feelings as it relates to what they just said. So you could say something like, Wow, thank you so much for sharing that. I could completely see how you experience that or how you feel about that situation. Those are words that validate a person and show them that you empathize with them. Now, when it comes to closing the discussions, it's all about making sure that you leave a long lasting positive impression and that people understand their next steps. Before you wrap things up, summarize the main points of the conversation. This shows that you were actively engaged and that you value what they shared. Reflecting their thoughts back to them can lead to insightful closure. Special tip, if you sense that they might want you to go do something after your conversation, clarify with them what that action might look like. Ask them something like, it appears that based upon what we've talked about, that maybe I have some work to do. I'm thinking I need to go do this or that next. What does that sound like to you? Or should I make any tweaks based upon what I've just said? When you do that, you help them understand that you are following along, that you want to make sure that you make the best next step based upon the conversation and that you're in their corner. Express gratitude. Before ending that conversation, let them know that you're happy that you had the discussion. Just say something like, I am so glad we had this discussion. It really did clarify things for me in a big way. Doing that really does let them know that you are happy to continue to have these conversations and creates more safety in the spaces that you interact with. At the end of your discussions, always wrap up with some positive words like, wow, I am so excited we had this discussion because it really has provided more clarity for me and helps me understand what it is I need to do next. When you do this, it helps people understand or dot the I across the T on listening and know that you were following along and you plan to help them in some regard. This is a sign of compassionate action. Before saying goodbye, encourage future discussions by saying something like, I'd love to continue this conversation another time. This keeps the lines of communication open and shows your willingness to connect further. And there you have it, the beauty of opening and closing discussions with the magic of active listening. Remember, every interaction is an opportunity to create stronger connections and gain deeper insights. If you like this video, please do be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be a leader who leads by example and build a winning culture in the meantime. Be well.